They've waited three years for this. Praised for their dignity and courage, today the bereaved families finally got justice. We would like to thank Judge Jeremy Baker for imposing the biggest sentence ever in these circumstances. However, as the families of Chloe and Liam, no sentence will ever reflect the loss we feel each day without them because he, because he won't really be serving the sentence that we are. This CCTV image shows Salman Abedi taking a Metrolink tram to Manchester's Victoria Station, the large black rucksack containing the bomb. This image shows Abedi a little while later amid the crowds of men, women and children in the Manchester arena. It was taken just 19 seconds before the explosion. Oh my God. What's going on? What just happened? 22 people died that night, including teenagers and children. The youngest was just eight. Is it fair to say that what Salman did has come, come as a complete shock to you? Yes. Salman's brother Hashem told police he knew nothing of his brother's plot, but his fingerprints found on metal cans at the family home were matched to this fragment found inside what remained of Salman Abedi's rucksack after the explosion. Sentencing Hashem Abedi to life with a minimum of 55 years, the judge said these were atrocious crimes, large in scale, deadly in intent, appalling in their consequences. The despair and desolation of the bereaved families has been palpable. My name is Martin, I'm 27 and I'm from Manchester. I am Coronation Street fan Street Martin Hett was one of those killed in the blast. Today, his mum praised the verdict. Today's sentence given to Hashem Abidi signifies the end of another chapter in our lives and reaffirmed to us that the British justice system is strong and fair and punishes those who break the law. Their lives have been devastated, but these families now know that the brother of the bomber, who is equally responsible, may never be released. Leila Hayes, 5 News.